here we are, folks, back again. Like, we've never ever stopped, um, but we're looking forward to race one. Um, race one is from Tullamore. Uh, we fly basically 120, 121 miles from, so uh, a nice wee steady start from them normally. Uh, I think last year we started from Navan, uh, which is 70 miles, so a bit of a change this year, but uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, the birds were hampered last night, uh, they felt okay, I'm pretty happy with them. As I said at, at the end of the video, training wise, I uh, would have liked to have had them a bit more of a stretch out, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, if anything goes wrong, it's my own fault no reasons why uh weather wise um not looking particularly great uh we were maybe hoping for an early lid but rain has pushed from the west over um at the liberation point which is not ideal uh so there's an update at one o'clock hopefully um the thing with weather apps is Everything seems to change on like a 30 minute basis. Uh, one minute looks okay, next minute uh, a dose of rain has, has came in. I, I know old birds uh, shouldn't have an issue if we had patches of rain. Um, it's just obviously knowing maybe how heavy the shores are is the question. But we are just expecting a good steady race for them for their first go at it and um, to get the ball rolling so uh, we'll see how we go. So stay tuned and we will hopefully get some arrivals.
to us race one finished and done with uh overall uh extremely happy with how the birds came um i'll just obviously do what i done last year and just post uh the results up here um we had the first seven pigeons in the club uh to be honest it was it was a tight race going off um the velocities uh the big thing that helped was how probably the pigeons trapped. Um, we certainly needed it on a day like that. Um, overall, as I say, maybe from the expectations of our own loft, uh, you know, our training um, was something I was a wee bit doubtful on. Uh, we like to try and get the pigeons down a bit of a stretch on the wing as such. Yeah, around that 30, 30, 35 mile mark, uh, just to sort of put that fitness into them. Um, so looking at it, that was the biggest thing, you know, were they fit enough to, you know, stick with the pack? Uh, I mean, with the way the race sort of held out, 
you know, we never got because of the weather. Uh, the liberation never happened till half one. There was just more rain than expected uh, coming in from the west. So the pigeons went up um, at half one. And by that point, there was basically a direct west wind. So we knew pigeons would have been way out onto the coast. So they would have to near enough work back into that. But um, I'm delighted just how the pigeons came and the trapped. One of the things that we were concerned about was pigeons trapping. Uh, we had some issues with the hens um, and I think it was all because we put the new aviary on and the new trap. Uh, some pigeons really struggled, you know, landing when they were out flying around the loft and stuff. So, uh, you know, obviously going in to a race when things are happening the way you like to see them, um, it certainly helps with you know feeling confident when you put your pigeons in the basket. So overall, just delighted from from our st standpoint. So uh, I have to give it to people. Um, there were some serious trapping matches out there. Um, some boys were were definitely rattling pigeons through the trap. So, uh, fair dues. Uh, you set up every week in order to win. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, we'll just have to go again for for next week. Um, it's the same race point, so we'll see how we fare out again. What I will say is a massive congratulations to John Trimble and his grandson, uh, Zach. Uh, they took the Open this week with the first seven. So, uh, for Jews, um, John's a, a incredible volunteer. So, um, and everybody else, well done in the results. Um, as I say, it was a pretty quick race, so um, here their own loss, we're happy, um, Pigeons definitely did us a credit, so uh, it's a long season, um, and one race doesn't make the season, so we just have to try and continue it week in, week out, as you, you know, it's a lot easier said than done, uh, and that's, that's for sure, but uh, the Pigeon that was first over the pod, is uh, a blue hen. The blue hen um, is bred out of her own stock team here. Um, she is coming off. My dad actually bred um, Jordy pigeons, uh, Jordy and Rob McCartney pigeons. Um, one of them pigeons won the derby twice um, and he paired them up and we got youngsters off them. So uh, the father is one of them pigeons from from Rob and Jordy, um, and the mother comes from Jeff Greenaway, um, his bloodline. So uh, delighted to say the least. So uh, well done all the winners today. Um, obviously a lot of fails starting next week. So good luck, and uh, we'll wish you all the best from here, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Take care.